Hey, hey, YouTube, as you could tell by the video title, uh, I've had a hell of a week, essentially. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell by the title, once again, I had a sprinkling, a little pinch, a pinch of hydrogen cyanide poisoning. Now, I'm perfectly fine now, but I did feel like shit for the last week or so, so I'm gonna go a little in depth onto how I acquired hydrogen cyanide poisoning. Uh, I have a berry bush in my yard, and it's called a gooseberry bush, and a gooseberry bush makes delicious, delicious berries called gooseberries. Fucking fascinating shit right there. The berries, when they're ripe, are very sweet and very soft, but I like crunchy, sour things, so if you eat the berries, when they're not ripe, they are sour and crisp, and they're green. Turns out that the gooseberry bush is very, very, very poisonous, and that the leaves have a high amount of hydrogen cyanide in them, and a small amount in the unripened berries. If you're astute and paid attention to the last 30 seconds of this video, you would have heard that I've been eating the unripe berries. I've been eating these berries for years, but usually it's just one at a time. And I mean years, like five years I've had this bush and I've been eating the berries from it. I usually would have eaten only like a berry or two a day, and maybe once or, two, once or twice a week. But now that my berry tree has bloomed that makes delicious, delicious blackberries, I'm not sure if they're actual blackberries, but they are blackberries, like color-wise. And they're very, very stainy and they make you all purple. That tree decided to make its berries and its berries were ripe. So I decided to mix the sweet berries that I like with the sour uh, gooseberries that were unripe because I like the sour gooseberry taste. I've been eating a lot more gooseberries, about a handful a day. And it turns out that that's enough to make you feel the adverse side effects of the hydrogen cyanide in the plant. Now, when a lot of people think of hydrogen cyanide, they imagine this white powder that, you know, you, you, you feed someone somehow and then they just die. And uh, the way hydrogen cyanide kills you is by deoxygenating all your cells and uh, then they die. So uh, I obviously haven't taken in enough hydrogen cyanide to do me any long-term harm, but boy oh boy did I have a, t a bad stomach ache for the last week or so. Uh, this is what the tree looks like, by the way, if you're wondering. So don't eat these fucking berries when they're green because you'll die, and don't eat the leaves because you'll die, even if the leaves are a different color. My girlfriend was the one to figure out that I was slowly poisoning myself with berries because she noticed that when I was home, I would eat the berries and then I wouldn't feel good. Realized I was slowly poisoning myself by eating these berries. To be honest, my plan was to test whether or not it was the berries the next day before I went to the doctor, and uh, the, my plan for the next day was to eat a lot of berries and see if I felt really bad because then I would have been like, oh, it's the berries, and then I would have stopped eating them. But it turns out I probably would have given myself a little bit more of a severe case of hydrogen cyanide poisoning had I decided to eat maybe 20 or so berries. To sum this up, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed when it comes to eating berries that are growing in my yard. And uh, don't eat gooseberries when they're not red, and please don't eat the leaves. And I'm adding this to the long, long list of the other video of <laughs> how I almost killed myself by drinking water. So don't drink a lot of water, don't eat green gooseberries. Don't forget to subscribe if uh, you like the video. Uh, well, hopefully you don't like the video, I mean hopefully you know you don't like the video too much because I don't want you to want me to die of cyanide poisoning. But besides that, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.